Hey William. Alright, so to start your assignment, you'll first want to go to your assignment page here and download your MP3. Now, so you can specify exactly where you want to save it to. It's best if you right click on the link for the MP3. And on my browser, it says save link as. If you're using Internet Explorer, it's going to say save target as, but it does the same thing. So you want to select that. And the easiest place to uh, find the mp3 again once you've saved it is to save it to the desktop so that's what I'm selecting here is the location to put it to so then I click on save and now we have this on my desktop right here oh, just moved there we go alright so then once you have that downloaded go to Pro Tools and turn it on you wanna create a blank session for this one now when you create a blank session it's going to tell ask you for the name that you wanna do it so I'll just call this one lesson one it doesn't ultimately matter, uh, it's just for your own organizational purposes. I'm going to go ahead and save this to the desktop as well, just to keep it easy. And I click on save. So now this is going to create the Pro Tools session for us. So let's just give that a second to build up the operations window. Alright, so here we are with all of this. So your M Audio should have already been plugged in when you did this. So if you're having any trouble with input or output, you can click on setup and select playback engine and within the list uh, in this uh, preference I'm using a different version so your playback engine is going to look a little bit different but there should be some sort of drop down in here where you can select your M audio device as the playback now in order to hear sound you may need to connect speakers or headphones to the M audio device instead of having it come through your speakers it, it really it depends from system to system but you may have to do that okay so then the first step that we want to do within the session is to import the mp3 so the function to do that you want to click on file put your mouse over import and then select audio it's going to open up this navigation window so I'm already looking at my desktop which is where the mp3 is and here it is so I'm going to click on it right here it's going to show up under here then we want to click on the convert button so it becomes a region for Pro Tools to read so then we click on done and this is the default audio files folder that is associated with your Pro Tools session. This is where you want to keep all of the audio files for this particular session located. So sticking at the default is fine. Click on choose. It's going to load the MP3. All right, and we might as well just make it a new track. Just start it from right there. Okay, so there is your mp3 let's make this a little bit bigger so it's more obvious and you can also use um, all of these tools up here to zoom out or zoom in uh, this is very helpful for getting that alright so now that we have the mp3 backing track we want to create our own track that we're gonna record the guitar to I don't have a guitar on me but uh, you know we'll, we'll just cooking show this one anyway so then from there sorry about that don't pay no attention to that one Okay, so now click on the track menu and then select new. Now, since the guitar has a mono input anyway, you can go ahead and stick with the default mono audio track. That's what you want for inputting your guitar. So then click on create. This is going to create a new track right here. So remember in in Pro Tools there are two windows. This is the edit window, which is showing us the timeline. The other window that we can go to is the mix window right here. This shows us, it looks a little bit more like an actual mixing console that you would see in a studio. And I'm just going to blow that up. That's with a keyboard shortcut. All right, so this is the audio. Um, if you want to rename it for organizational purposes, just you know, double click on the name of it and type in what you want. So I'm going to do guitar. So the important thing to look out for here is the input and output. That's what IO stands for right here. So for the input, Make sure it's going to have different names on your computer, but basically you either want to have uh, input 1 or input 2 selected depending on how your interface is sorted out. Most likely you'll want 1, but you might want to select 2. Uh, mine has different names here, but yours will probably just say the numbers uh, cascading up. So that's input 1. So once you're ready to record, you want to click on this record enable button right here. This is telling Pro Tools once I hit record over here that any audio signal coming in is going to go to this track and not the not recording over the MP3 backing track that we're um, trying to record along to. 
So at the moment, I don't really have anything connected here. But once you record, once you hit this and you have the input set properly, you should be getting a signal here once you have your guitar plugged into the M Audio device. You might need to mess with the gain knob for that track on the M Audio device itself because that'll control the level of volume coming into the Pro Tools. So you can work with this. And then I'm just going to create a, a dummy track right now. So we hit record, then play to start it. I'm not getting any signal in here because I don't have a guitar connected right now, but if everything's set up properly, you should be able to just play your guitar along to this. You'll be able to hear the backing track um, playing out of your speakers or your headphones, and then you can just simply play along. So then, okay, then you can hit spacebar to stop the playback. So let's just say that this is a completed take that made it all the way to the end of the song, and we are ready to submit this to our assignment page. Then, from there, we want to go into File, Bounce to Disk. This is what's going to create... Oh, whoops. That reminds me. Make sure you turn the record and enable off whenever you go to Bounce. Now we can do that again. All right, so preferably, you want to submit... Uh, your files is an mp3 um, so the bounce source you can keep it at um, the main output so that bounce source can always stay at default file type typically you want mp3 but your version might not be able to do that by default um, in which case you can then try to convert it in iTunes if you have that you can download that for free if you want so then um, make sure it's stereo interleaved and not any of the, these other ones because this is a standard mp3 right here so then if you click on bounce, see like this one, you may get this pop-up. If that's the case, then you won't be able to make it an MP3 by default. In which case, you can just make it a WAV file and then convert it later. So then click on bounce. And let's not save it to the audio files. Let's just put another one back on the desktop. So in your case, we would want to go with... Uh, just your first initial and last name. So W. Crutchfield. Oops, sorry, I misspelled that. And then the assignment number, one. So that works as the file that you can do. So same it to the desktop. And then it is going to play... Um, it's going to take the length of the song to bounce it out, but once this is finished, you'll end up with a new song file on your desktop right here. And then once that's created, you can then return to your assignment page and click on the post button right here. Give this a second to load. All right, and then once you have the post set up, you'll need to add a subject, a message, and an attachment. So to attach your a recorded file that you just made, click on the Browse button. And it hasn't been created yet because it's still bouncing, but basically you want to go to the desktop, select it, and then it'll show the file path right in here. Once that's all set, you can just click on the Post button here, and your assignment will be submitted. So that should just about do it for this one. So if you have any questions or any issues with any of that, uh, feel free to send me an email to service at berkeleymusic.com or give me a call at 617-747-2146, extension 3. Thanks, William.